And I just found out that these little anchors can come out quite easily just by pulling on them. I see the other one will come out like that. Yep. Came right out. And there's a shim in that one. I don't see a shim in this one. And uh, the grain of the wood, seriously, looks weird. Almost looks like a press board. Hmm. What do you think the chances are of being able to drill that hole out to there and have it center properly on my drill press? Hmm. Questions, questions. And Amazon has arrived. So after I cut off the last part of the segment, I went online and uh, I just got this Music Lily uh, replacement bridge, which will maintain using those little pippy things, those four millimeter. These are quite longer than the originals. I noticed that when I changed this on the uh, um, Squire guitar. Oh, look at that. Oh, the whiz wheels are half the thickness on the new Music Lily. That's going to give me some some height adjustment properties that will work in my favor, I think. Get the little Allen head up versus down. Now, I've removed the, the uh, bridge pickup. And I put those I put those posts back in where they were. Now, the holes are not that deep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that later. The holes are not that deep for these anchors, especially not for these long posts like that, but I, I'm going to use the long ones because um, they're new and they're, they're not rusted because the other ones were in water for a bit. Let's see if I can go any further with that. No. And uh, I'll put it down as far as it'll go. So I decided to stay with this because I just didn't think I could actually get... Oh, that one's going in a little further. No, yes. That hole might be deeper. And I, and I did notice here that uh, this body is, is sandwiched. Three, uh, three pieces of wood on top of each other. Oh, this one is going down quite a bit farther. Look at that. That went down, ooh, very deep compared to the treble side. Oop. Let me get that back out again. I'll worry about it later. <clears throat> yeah, this this one isn't going down. That's it. Anyhow, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So I took this pickup out of the way uh, because I, I did find, uh, where are they? I did find a couple of trim rings, mounting rings, that were less thick than the ones that came on here. And if I can get this bridge to go down, I'm probably going to want to have this sit lower for that bridge to give me some capability. But what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to get that bridge on there, right at the bottom, for now. And I was going to put this replacement, see what that looks like. It's a BM003 by Music Lily Pro. Is it a Pro? I got it on Amazon. I found it after much a look. Yeah, Music Lily Pro BM015-10.4, which is a 52 millimeter spacing to spacing and 10.4 between the the two. Um, 
and I'm just going to put this on forward like it normally goes like that oh look at that one just just guessed it right and I'm going to keep this out of the way for now as I try to figure out how to not twist these strings to try to get them back back where I, where I want them to go uh, the date yeah and then we're going to put one of these posts on that side and get it started just a little bit come on don't give me trouble okay that string is off the edge that one's off the edge all right oh that screw didn't hold all right let me see if i can do it like that start it they're a little grody are there we go now can i get this one in there up and over and down and back in Where's my driver driver? There. Whoops. Counter, counter, counter. There. Be careful not to cross thread them. Then you have to pull those studs and put them back in again. And yes, I uh, I did put tape on my screwdriver to protect the powder coating and chrome on the other ones. I do have a wider headed screwdriver but it's upstairs but this one does a good enough job with this on it. Oh, I see the tape has already been bitten into. Okay, I need my glasses. There they are. Alright, so I'm going to put this down a little bit more side by side because you know like I said before if anybody's been watching you run into a point where they won't go anymore because of the lopsidedness and uh, you got to do the other side and uh, I found out by playing with these posts that there's no wire in there for uh, the bridge grounding it's going to be on uh, on the main tail piece which is probably not doing a lot of grounding because there's a lot of powder coating on everything there okay let's see if we can get these strings back in their slots uptown here Let's see how low they are, see how high they are. I did not clean out the headstock just yet. Hmm. All right. So that is quite low. Hmm. Maybe I have a chance. Uh, let me tighten up a couple of strings here. Uh, I only really have to work with the high E and the low E. I'm looking for something. What is it? Um, I'm looking for something. I thought of something. I should be... Oh, oh yeah. I'm looking to plug in my, my tuner. I've got to at least try to get those... Uh, two uh, strings up to pitch to see what kind of action you can get at either end there's the E it's looking promising these are still the factory sacrificial strings Close enough. Oh, they sent me an Allen key. What, what, oh, that's for the top problem, is it? Oh, yeah. That looks like a, a two millimeter. Does that actually go down by itself? Oh, it does. 
I don't know what we're stopping at. I don't have to do any work on those holes. Looks like it's going to be down far enough. Okay. Let's uh, just be careful. I mean, it's not the world's best uh, guitar, but still, you know, I always like to keep them as nice as you can. All right, so, oh, you know, I think that's going to work. Let me pull you back a little bit. Um, now, I don't have full tension on the neck, but over here, I do have, with uh, almost an E, what does it look like? Yes, I do have height adjustment. Darn, that's nice. Darn, that's nice. But I suspect that that is still going to be too high being left like that. So, I'll do a quick check anyway, but yeah, I, if I want to keep the screws on the front, I, I think I'm definitely going to have to change it over to uh, this ring. And the other thing is, is that the mounting screws that they put in there are barely making it through into the body. You know, oh, that's the, that's the thin side. The thick side, I mean, there's only... Um, Two eighths of an inch going into the body. the The screws are very, very shallow in the in the body. There, they came out very, very easily. They were hanging on by a thread, as they say. Maybe that's where that came from. Okay, this is looking promising. Let me check the other side because I think I forgot to do it. Oh yeah, there's plenty of height adjustment on the treble side as well. Uh, I guess anybody. I guess you were wondering if I was going to check that side, weren't you? Uh huh. Now let me uh, just check this. What kind of height am I looking at on the end of that? Uh, maybe I can just do it by by ruler. What kind of height am I looking at at this end? Geez, mm. that's that's about a half an inch. Whoops. Yeah, that's about a half an inch. And then I, yeah, <laughs> the half inch is really, really, really too close. It's only a sixteenth away from the strings. So definitely must change the uh, the mounting ring. Okay, we've got that settled. Looks like that's going to work as is. Woohoo! I just saw Jay uh, change a roller, put a roller bridge on his 333 um, Felon Blue. And... Um, he put the kind that, it's a music lily, but it, it's the kind you have to do with the, the Allen screws and stuff and, and the locking things on both sides, and I just hate those things. Um, they're a little bit too much like a Floyd Rose, uh, too much work for a roller bridge. I mean, a roller bridge should be, you take one of these things off and you just pop another one on. Same screw adjustments, same everything, set it with a screwdriver. No worries. I really hate those other style locking, locking bridges with that thing. I don't know who came up with that, but they should be shot. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to take that off there because I, I'm going to have to replace it anyway. And... I am going to um, change this ring. I'm going to remount the pickup. Then I will re-put this stuff on top. I'm going to play with uh, my capacitor in series trick with this one to see if I can roll it off and maybe keep that. Or am I waiting for the package to come from China and just replace these with a, another complete set, which are black and white zebras, which I thought would go nicer on there. So. We're going to see. At the same time, I'm going to receive the new nut. And so, in the meantime, um, I wanted to make as much use of these strings as possible. And that includes cutting a new nut. But if it takes a couple of weeks for it to come, 
I may want to do a fret leveling job or buffing or whatever the case may be. So from, from the seventh fret up here, the frets are progressively more and more corroded. And from the seventh fret down, they're shinier because this end was all wet in the bag. Those are pretty good size frets, they're mediums at least. And, uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to take all that off. And I'm going to do a bit of a cleaning as well. While I've got all of this off of here, I can take the knobs off. And while that's out of place, this is only in back, back in by two screws. I'm going to clean up all the front of it so that I don't have to do a massive cleaning at the end when everything's mounted. I'll be back. Okay gang, listen, the new bridge uh, was the right choice. Um, it seems to have worked out good and also I'm able to get some action down there. However, it's not exactly where I want it yet, especially on the treble side. And the bridge is as low as it goes and because of the way the posts have been mounted uh, this one is sitting off a little bit and not allowing the bridge to seat properly on the top of that thumb wheel so when I get the strings off I'm going to take a little meat off the the treble side of the bridge and I'm going to be able to get it down where I want it now because it's a little bit high at the moment um, and not by much, okay, not by much at all, um, maybe a 64th or so, but I want to have maybe a little bit of play of mm, two 64ths to be able to, you know, tweak it when you want to. I'll probably take a little bit of meat off the bottom of that um, treble side. Now, um, changing the uh, pickup ring for the bridge also gave me the distance over the top that I wanted. Um, now that I've got it back together, um, I still don't like the tone of the bridge, the neck. Um, the bridge also is better, but it, it could be better uh, than it is. So for the moment, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going. So the next thing I want to work on while I'm waiting for some parts to come in will be the electrics. Now I thought these volume controls were independent uh, and they're not. Um, they are as long as the uh, neck is up a little bit I can do some stuff with them but that's not truly independent. When you turn the neck down it also takes down the bridge and that's not independent. So I will rewire those um, depending on which pickups I end up keeping or not. So I uh, went back to the amp lat late last night. Uh, I was curious before I went to bed to see if the tone would improve after I cut the uh, capacitor off in here. It didn't really. So at the moment this, this tone pot does nothing. Um, if I change the pickups that I, I hope will work nicer uh, for the tone I want, um, I'll probably put um, maybe, you know, 22 or 20 or 33 cap in there and, and, and give it an option. But uh, you know, um, overall this is not a not a terrible guitar. Uh, except for the water damage, it's uh, it's not that bad. You know, um, it 8.8 uh, .8 pounds. It's kind of a, a a heavy Les Paul style. I don't know. It it reminded me of a Les Paul. I think. It's probably thicker in some places by a little bit. I can't be sure until I, I would measure it, but other than that, you know. The neck is seated very well in here. And uh, the poly up in the crack here is like really, really good. And they buffed it out really well. There's not even a rough spot in there. Um, on both sides, you can see where the poly is. And... Um, it's it's pretty nice and there's nice green on this neck as well there's nice figuring and I like that it's plain and not white um, it may be a little 
sticky. I'm not sure at the end. Uh, I may have to satinize it. I don't know. I did put some uh, detailer on it, which made it feel a little bit slick. So there is work to be done. Uh, I cleaned out the um, truss rod um, pocket. There's a little bit of paint missing on the edge here, which I can touch up because, you know, I leave the covers off. Um, and the nut has uh, the poly all the way up over the side, um, on both sides. And I'm going to have to very, very, and it's fairly thick, so I'm going to have to very carefully cut away at that before I pop this nut off of there not to do any any damage to the rest of the poly around it but uh, there's something about this guitar when I had this pickup out um, you know it, it's a weird shape right with that pip on the bottom and <laughs> I've hit it a number of times because I'm used to handling less poles that look like this and usually there's a, a button here but this is even further down than a button is and I've, I've nicked it a few times because my eye is just thinking it's like a Les Paul uh, and I have to be careful before I break something but when I had this pickup out um, I noticed that this uh, stuff here is it's um th this is paint uh, it's a stencil that they used um, it comes right to the edge of the um, pickup cavity and so is so is this this is a stencil that they put on there in paint uh, um, and then uh, they uh, they polyed over it, so it's not a sticker. And, and I thought that the white on the back here might have been a sticker, but I saw the remnants, a little bit of remnants of white uh, around that. So I think that's probably been painted as well. And it's just a little bit thicker. It's like the edge where they tore the tape off the back of the neck. But yeah, so there's still a lot of work to do. And uh, I'm going to see what I can do with the electrics by choosing capacitor uh, filter circuits. Uh, maybe it's capacitor alone. Maybe it's going to be um, resistor capacitor filters that will go in line with these pickups and see if I can um, save them like I did with a couple of other guitars that I've worked on before this one, uh, which the... The videos are probably already out.